What's happening, everybody? We're back. We're gonna make our way to Gangaga finally. So let's drive our way over there. Jungle? Indeed it is! Hold on, little Miss Carsick. We're almost there. Hooray. <sighs> Think I'm gonna hurl? <sighs> Bit overgrown for the poor old buggy. We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, I meant to say. There's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat nap, eh? <laughs> sure. Uh, Let's. Uh-huh. Cloud? You okay? I just... I feel like I've been here before. Well, if it's 
dirty laundry you're after. Yeah. I have heard whispers about the new president's proclivities. You wouldn't believe how much he spends on those fancy suits. No. Why did I even ask? Tech. 
It must be... Shinra. Yes. Furthermore, as we have yet to detect the proto-relic, I suspect these issues may be related in some manner. I've marked the previously mentioned pockets on your map. And remember, when surveying, safety first.
crossed into fiend territory. Look alive, people! Rare Amphidex variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. During mating season, the males undergo a crisis.
taken over. Someone lives all the way out here, in this wee hut. <laughs> Talk about rustic. Then again, a life without Marco. Uh, it's not without its charm, is it? In fact, this could be a whole new string to the Shinrod Resort's bow, eh? The Rural Getaway. It's cast off modernity and embrace eternity. You'd be surprised how many people would go for it. Could be a nice little earner. Time to <laughs> that arm, that magnificent arm. Uh, 
It is a weapon, but how does it work? A universal adapter, allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. Wait, have you been going around punching things with your attachments? Uh, occasionally? Doing so ought to have given you multiple bone fractures. But this unique cylinder provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high-impact performance. Who was the genius that built this? An old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now, though. Uh, wait right there! <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> Sorry, got carried away. My name's Izo. I've been trying to create the ultimate weapon, but my attempts have all failed miserably. But thanks to you, I finally made a breakthrough. I must harness the inspiration while I can. Please, help me build it. Gather the materials I need. I'm originally from Junon, but I could hardly breathe there. So I decided to leave it all behind. I wandered in search of somewhere I could build my weapons in peace. And eventually, I wound up here. Not a bad place, huh? Of course, materials can be hard to come by when you live out here in the sticks. Though it seems crude at a glance, look close. The craftsmanship is remarkable. Whoever made it must have been a specialist in a completely different field. No mere weaponsmith would have been half as clever. Indeed, I've made it my life's work. Frustrating though it's been. How to conceive a weapon I lack the vocabulary to describe. Well, if all you need is some material, sure, why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful, thank you! I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. Grab that before you head out, and you shouldn't have any trouble. Someone so interested in my arm. Most folks try their best to look the other way. He's a weird one. Huh. That's putting it mildly. Made me realize, too, how soft I've gotten. Because in the old days, I would have said no touching and decked his ass. In the old days? If it ain't the present, it's the past, son.
Should be somewhere around here. Don't overdo it. Here I go. Get lost. Still got more to find.
deal with that. I got this. Switch it up. You're just gonna take the lead? Alright! Watch and learn! Hope you don't mind if I fill you to the hole! How'd you like that? Come get some! Kiss my ass! Stay down, asshole! You ain't getting out of this! Everything? That map will lead you straight to where you can find my materials. Oh. Excellent. It's all here. Thanks. If you're not in a rush, wait here while I finish up. <laughs> <laughs> I get that it's your profession, but do you actually enjoy this? Making weapons? Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. Besides, it's the wielder who dictates the true value of a tool. Weapons, too. Ah, uh, that's especially true for weapons. Yes, yes! I've done it! Feast your eyes on my masterpiece! My gift to you, I insist! I may not be the gentlest owner, you know. <laughs> User as you like. The wielder dictates the value of the tool, remember? And by association, the value of the maker. Therefore, what good I put out into the world depends on who I entrust with my weapons. That's how I choose to see my part in it all. Huh. Hell of a lot of pressure to put on some guy you just met, don't you think? The adapter that your friend made. It's a gift in more ways than you know. He was thinking of your future, of what you might do after the dust settles. Today, you may have no choice but to wield a weapon. Tomorrow? Years from now? Think about it if you haven't. The man who fashioned your adapter is an inspiration in his own right. And that's no lie. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll ask me to turn your arm into a giant egg beater. I'll make it so you can whip up a cake to serve a hundred. <laughs> Weird time to be joking around, man. Not joking in the least. That's the price for my masterpiece. You owe me a cake fit for a king. So don't you go dying on me. Yeah. 
talk about a weirdo. Friendly, though. True. A weirdo with the heart of gold. You've been ratting on us to Shinra. Telling him where we are, you furry fraud! Guilty! I knew this cat had two faces! Ah, come on now! I'm only pulling your leg! Who are you kidding? You were literally built by the company. Probably stuffed to full of teeny tiny listening devices. Teeny tiny? The late president believed that bigger was always better. Small went against his philosophy. Knew him well, huh? Some nine to five nobody you are. Sure your name ain't Stamp? Pretty sure, aye. Like one of Jack. You folks are what brung you out my way, but you mess with my vegetables, I mess with you. Yes! <laughs> 
first, chocobos used mushrooms as springboards. Gaga awaits. It's about time. I'm freaking starving. <laughs> Maybe our lucky food will be on the menu. <gasps> are these? They are. Gungaga mushrooms. They may be hard to come by in Midgar, but here. Here you can't move for the blasted things. Wow. Hmm. Thing. For a second, I thought you were someone else. Who are you people? I, you'll do. More importantly, why are you here? Not to survey the reactor, I presume. Ah, no, just to study it. We're on a wee field trip, you see. Welcome to Gungaga. I'm Cisne, Coalition Captain. And sorry, didn't mean to startle you before. Just doing our jobs. Back to your posts. Ma'am! You'll get a clear view of the reactor from that hill. Make sure to pay your respects, though. Of course! <laughs> Come on. Our village is a quiet one, as you can tell. Let's keep it that way. Don't get a lot of visitors, what with the jungle. Can't even remember the last time. But that's part of this place's charm, I suppose. Ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. It was old and couldn't handle the stress. It needed maintenance, which Shinra never provided. And then one day. So, they're cheap as well. <laughs> this was the company's way of trying to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? That's nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. You guys must be tired. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up... Wouldn't they say no? My house is just down there. Got an open door policy, so feel free. Woohoo! Don't mind if I do! <clears throat> I'm, uh, gonna take a look around. Seriously, get some rest, okay? Mm. 
definitely loving the region. This town is beautiful. I love the music, dude. It's so like, it's such a, like a feel good soundtrack. But I, I feel like Cisne knows something, and I feel like Kate said does as well because they're like, he told her to be quiet, or she says, I don't know. It's just weird. She mistaked Cloud for being um, Zach for a second, and then she's like, oh, that's not you. And oh yeah, he's got a, he doesn't have black hair. He's got blonde hair. Really interesting to find out what the hell the connection is between uh, Cloud and Zach, because Zach knows Cloud, but Cloud doesn't. This Cloud and this timeline doesn't know Zach, so that's what's confusing. But that being said, we're gonna end this episode here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We're gonna explore more Gangaga and do some main missions.